Hello friends, uh, this is the most recent video of uh, the lava which spilled on February 8th and we are taking off from the parking for the lava road right next to the road crossing over the new lava and we will explore the lava road itself and the surrounding lava fields which spilled now in February uh, almost three weeks ago see cars are driving one after another non-stop 24 hours well well not in the night when because blue lagoon is closed in the night and there is no traffic to blue lagoon in the night but as soon as it opens early morning around seven or eight o'clock the traffic kicks in it's mainly rental cars on the drive to blue lagoon uh, but also some tourist buses and I saw my slenders coming between to, to see the lava <laughs> this is how it looks from above uh, the smoke which is arising from the road here and there it's actually evaporation, moisture evaporation from the rocks from the ground which had been uh, put over and due to the heat which comes under from the lava the rocks uh, are getting dry see car after car even small buses are going over it was exceptional weather yesterday when I was doing this flight we had clear skies uh, sunshine and the quality of the video is very good Destination Blue Lagoon bus, it's a delivery bus from a company called Grayline or Reykjavik Sassin, which drives to Blue Lagoon, doing transfers to Blue Lagoon. It's going there every hour. Two days ago, Icelandic Met Office published uh, three possible scenarios which might take place uh, when eruption occurs probably sometime next week because currently they reported we have 5 million cubic meters of magma under Svartsengi in that chamber and when it will reach 9, possibly 9, 13 or 16 hard to say we will have an eruption because back in uh, October, November, lava erupted to when the volume reached 10 million cubic meters uh, of magma. Then we had an eruption, but uh, in December, on the 17th of December, eruption took place when magma reached uh, nearly 17 million cubic meters. So it's between 10 and 17 million cubic meters that eruptions uh, occur actually yeah actually even less 9 9 to 16 million cubic meters is the number to trigger the eruption currently we are at at 4 almost reaching 5 two days ago now maybe 7 so here I'm flying towards uh, the Sunuka Giger crater which is uh, behind that mountain the mountain to the front is called Stora Skongafatl and that's where they expect the new eruption the most likely scenario is between this mountain Stora Skongafatl and Silngafatl mountain to the south that is uh, scenario number one then scenario number two eruption by Hagafat mountain even further south along the same line that's when we had an eruption uh, back in December when lava destroyed three houses in Grindavik they expect an eruption there a scenario number two and scenario number three eruption inside the lava barriers around Grindavik it is possible that eruptive fissure will open within Grindavik or the region north of Grindavik inside the barriers. A similar activity occurred on the 14th of January 
when volcanic fish open it just inside the outer perimeter of the town approximately four hours after an onset of eruption near Hagafer. So they do not in, uh, exclude eruption uh, very close to Grindavik which might have devastating consequences for the town itself. That would be, that would be the worst scenario. But of course nature is unpredictable. We might see something what is not even predicted an eruption elsewhere. Perhaps even in Fagratas Felbihot because we had numerous earthquakes there along the line of trail B more or less. Or somewhere in uh, Altwerp uh, craters area which is further to the west of Blue Lagoon just straight ahead of us on the other side of the Jumbe. We never know but the earthquakes will be telling us whether it's likely, most likely, it will happen. The earthquakes are the best predictor of the eruption because no eruption comes without earthquakes. So follow earthquakes and you will know what is going to happen more or less. See, lava is still hot and smoking. I think Blue Lagoon will remain open to the very last moment. Uh, it's unlikely that the uh, lava will uh, break into the surface uh, within the defense wall of uh, Blue Lagoon because there are no, not even smaller, not even small earthquakes in that area. There's nothing that ind would indicate that uh, or point to that. But there is an ancient uh, fissure row west of the lagoon called Altwerp, Altwerp craters, and there they did predict an eruption back in November in that area. So some cars are driving very slow through the lava road, but the reason behind that to take pictures and film it probably. Now uh, we will take a look at the most recent update from Icelandic Met Office, which says uh, model calculations indicate that approximately 5 million cubic meters of magma had reached, had reached to the Svartsengi Reservoir as of February 22nd. Considering the trend observed prior to the previous volcanic eruptions in the Sundnuku crater row, the likelihood of an eruption is very high once the volume reaches between 8 to 13 million cubic meters. Based on the results of the model calculations, this could occur early next week if magma accumulation continues at the current rate. That means Monday to Wednesday. It should be noted that there, there is a degree of uncertainty in this interpretation and can be assured that the behavior will be identical to the past eruptions here. Also, as the magma plumbing system evolves, we can rule out the possibility that the volume of magma required to trigger a new diking event or eruption may become reduced. So, eruption might take place even earlier, they say. Additionally, there is a possibility of a new dike intrusion occurs within this region without resulting in a volcanic eruption. There might be no volcanic eruption at all, but a dike intrusion when magma cools down very close to the surface and never makes it up. If, the, if an eruption occurs, scientists estimate that magma will most likely propagate from the reservoir beneath Svartsengi towards Sunnukur crater row, resulting in lava fontaining and lava flows in the area between Stora, Skogfet and Hagafet. The primary signal of ascending magma is a sudden increase in seismic activity with many localized small magnitude earthquakes. 
considering the previous volcanic eruptions in the area, an eruption could start with very little warning, less than 30 minutes, depending on where a magma reaches the surface on Sunnukar Crater Row. Sunnuka Giger Crater Row. And then they go two likely scenarios, three likely scenarios that I mentioned earlier. Although there is a clear indication of uplift in the Svartsengi Thorbjord area related to magma charge of this reservoir, this does not mean that, that it is most likely location for an eruption to start. This is because the magma reservoir is currently falling on its northeastern edge, feeding dike propagations which are initiated between Storas Kogofetl and Sunnukur Crater Row. In a scenario where a magma ascends towards the surface directly from the Swartsengi reservoir, it is estimated that the first signs of magma migration would be detected four to seven hours before magma reaches the surface. Please note that these scenarios are based on interpretations of the latest data in the observed development of the previous events at Sunnuku, Sunnuka Giger Crater Room. Uncertainty must be accounted for this for in this in, in this interpretation and is only based on a few events. So this is what they say in the most recent uh, update from Icelandic Met Office. And now we are flying very close to the lava road through the re only remaining road section which, which forms an island uh, within the lava with the, and it's possible to walk there as you saw what I did uh, yesterday. But I don't recommend you to do that. And see, tourists come very close to the lava. It's always interesting to see the new lava, because most of people who come to Iceland, they have never seen uh, hot lava or newly spilled lava, so for them it's a unique experience and I understand the interest. Anyway, enjoy the footage, peace and blessings from Iceland. Have a blessed Sunday. <laughs>